The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 30. NASDAQ off 7. S&Ps are down 3.5. Gold contract up nine dollars and forty cents, trading at thirteen forty-eight thirty an ounce. We have silver up nineteen cents, eighteen dollars ten cents an ounce. Platinum is up a buck and a half, thousand five. You get the copper market down at two pennies, three thirteen a pound. Light sweet crude down twenty-five cents, forty-eight dollars ninety-one cents a barrel. And uh, 11 o'clock today, right? I believe EIA yeah. inventory is 11 o'clock right. for crude oil and 10:30 though for, for gas. natural gas. Yeah. yeah. Um, Bonds, 10-year note up 13 ticks, 127.16, 30-year bond up 30 ticks, almost a full point, 157.09. Still just can't keep them down. Lower rates coming at us, folks. King dollar, king dollar, once again, uh, going south uh, with price, with volume, you're down 590 ticks right now, 91.660. We've already hit 91.375. You get that ABC uh, structure down with a 91.019 price projection. The way the dollar is trading, though, it looks like that 88, uh, they, they just keep selling the dollar. Yeah, folks. the euro's looking strong with Drag Draghi speaking right, over there, right. for sure. That's a uh, buck 20, and the volatility's been out there uh, in the euro, in the dollar, in the metals, and I suspect it looks like it's throwing some volatility in the S&P. Um, the, uh, the yen is trading at 108 and a quarter to the uh, U.S. dollar. Uh, we get open. With, well, let's go into the gold market first and take a look at it. So that got some volatility too with it, the currencies. Yeah. Look at that. So we've hit 1353. You know what's amazing is that the 1377 seemed so far away only a few days ago. I mean, you know, once it took off, it's like okay, there's the swing point. That's sure. what it looks like it's going to hit. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty crazy how quick it like is getting there. Though. Yeah. You know, 1345. Not bad for gold. Right. A couple, 20 bucks away from it. Yeah. Uh, we take a look at the interest rate structure, and uh, we're on the Z contract now. So look at this. 127.16, that, I believe, puts us 2.0 something. 2.063. There you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty, pretty amazing. It is. Uh, and, you know, bottom line uh, for all the... Well, yeah, for all the folks, particularly in South Florida and the East Coast, we got to push that thing off. Uh, it's looking pretty bad. Definitely. Hopefully it just heads out toward that Atlantic. It steers clear. I mean, it looks like it's tracking a little east, fortunately, for Tampa. But, of course, that's rough for the East Coast of Florida. Yeah. Um, so it, hopefully it just keeps tracking east yeah. and heads out there. we got to get that thing to track east and track east on in, in a big way for that whole East Coast. Uh, because what we will get out here, if we take a look at the, uh, let's see, so natural gas was coming out at 1030, right? Yes. Uh, natural gas right now, which that's trading out at 304. We got oil at, uh, it's crude at 4920. Um, we'll see just what else uh, gets, gets thrown in that mix there. Yeah. Uh, silver, let's go take a look at the silver market. So silver caught a nice bid too. Uh, silver out here right now, uh, 1810 you're trading. We got to 1814. You get 50,000 contracts, not bad. Yeah. That's good. It, it launched the 1792 area, which is the swing from June 6th. That puts in game now 1887. Yeah. I mean, over like two months, you're talking about from almost 15 to 18. I know. Pretty, Pretty remarkable move. It, there's no doubt, man. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's intriguing. I'm saying, you know, it's hard to comprehend, like, why is the dollar, why they keep selling down the dollar? You know, technically I can see it, but I'm saying, okay, why? And then I'm saying, are we going to get so many storms that we're just going to have to keep pouring money into it? I mean, it's, sure. it's, it's, it's pretty wild thinking about uh, how this is going to shake out. Yeah. You know? Yep. 
some of the uh, higher volume stocks out here today. Let's take a look and see what we have here. You get Bank of America down 41. GE is down 51. Uh, GoPro caught a bit. GoPro uh, went from, okay. uh, they thought they were going to lose uh, money. Well, they've been losing money for a long time. Uh, we'll take, we'll pull, pull up that. They, I believe they went profitable. Okay. Uh, which is a miracle. <laughs> Let's see. So it's up a buck fifty. Well, they see inching closer to profitability. Close enough, I guess, yeah, for the market. Yeah, right, right. Let's go to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. Kevin Hinks, what's going on? Good morning, guys. How's everything? How are you guys hanging in there? We're, we're hanging, we're, man. We're, we're hanging we're, in here. We're like, buckling down everything. Yeah. We've totally. got the generator going. we got we got everything in place. And we, the, the shame is we're pretty in pretty good shape, Kevin, but yeah. we have... Our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, he's on the other coast. His studio's on the other With coast. Many so it's listeners, like, I'm sure. Yeah, which is pretty intense because he's... He's probably getting ready to get out of there. Yeah. When are you guys expecting landfall? You know, when, let's put it this way. When will it start to affect you guys? We'll I know. It's late Sunday or Monday. Yeah, late Sunday or Monday. It's still oh, okay. pretty far away, which is really yeah. positive right. for everyone in Florida. You know, it, and, and it's going to hit some land before it gets to you, so hopefully it'll weaken as it, as it goes over land. It, I mean, it's still projected, although you're, you're exactly right. I was listening to you guys at the beginning. You needed to take a big right turn. Yes, yeah, exactly. And right. head out to sea. Right. Which would be which would be a big sigh of relief for everybody. It, exactly. Because yeah. exactly. this one is a just a vicious storm. It's a monster. Yeah, it's a monster and the monster. Know. Yeah. So, I mean some of the some of the uh videotape that they're seeing from some of these smaller islands yes. is pretty nasty. Yeah, I that, checked out a couple of them yesterday too. It, it's hard to be comp means. it's hard to comprehend a, a twenty to thirty foot surge. And, I mean and right. hundred and eighty five mile an hour winds. Yeah. That's what's yeah. I mean, seeing some of those winds rip through. Whew, Amazing. Man. Right. I, I agree completely. So, yeah, we're, we're looking. Everyone's watching it now. And, and what the odd thing is, they seem to be lined up behind it. I know. Yeah. Right? There seem to be talk three about that of them yet. Exactly. There now. Right. Right. So, um, Jose yeah. is coming up next, man. Hopefully right. that just goes further north or what it is, right? Just shoot right. up the Atlantic and shoot back out and kind of chill yeah. out in those cooler waters up north. Yeah. Yeah, I am not a weatherman, but do you guys think that one hurricane's path affects the path of the one behind it? I hope not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Seriously. I hope not. We don't need this one in the Gulf. No way. Yeah. No, I, I agree completely. That yeah. that that would just be no good yeah. for anybody. Because I mean, that, yeah, the Gulf of Mexico, that water is so warm. It is this time of year. It is. I mean, really even in Florida, our water right. gets so warm. It's remarkable. If you're from the north, it almost doesn't make sense that late August, September. Right. It's not even refreshing. It's so warm. 89 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. When I hear about war, uh, ocean water in the 80s, that's that's some serious warm water there. It, it is. Bath water. And that's that, that, that's that late summer, right? Early fall. That's you guys right. That's right. That? We're right here. Now, now let's let's talk a little about a little warm water. That little doll looks like it's in uh, pretty bad shape here, man. Tom, this is the strangest trade that I remember in the fact that what, you know, normally they come for the dollar as a safe haven. Right. And it seems like now they're selling the dollar they're selling as it. a safe haven. Folks, right here, 45 minutes, swim lessons. That's right. Get on your cell phone, tfnn.com, hit Tiger TV. Kevin, thank you so much. Have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to the show in 45 minutes. You guys have a safe one as well. Thanks, Thanks. so much, Kevin. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up to the date after active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 25. You get the NASDAQ off eight. S&Ps are off three and a half. And if you haven't test drove the Nadex uh, platform, folks, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can hit the banner, bring up the platform, and walk along with us as we trade these defined option contracts and natural gas, right? Sure, yeah. So let's bring this baby over, and we'll get into natural gas. So let's see. Commodities... Gas. Okay, so let's see where we stand here. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to line up pretty well, and that we're trading at two ninety nine six. Call it, you know, barely just off of three dollars. Yeah. And if you look, the eleven a.m.s they're going to line up where we could go three dollars to three twenty, three dollars to two eighty on the negative side. We sell on the short one. It's going to be about seventeen dollars. I can see seventeen ticks away from that three dollar ceiling. And it's going to be somewhat similar, 11. barely off. Yeah, 11 on the positive side because we're barely under that $3 mark. So the positive one's going to be a hair cheaper. And, yeah, so you're looking at $28 for the 11 o'clocks, right? Yeah. So let's jump in and see what we have for the 12 o'clocks. So they line up, <clears throat> excuse me, the same with three. $3 being the kind of pivot point. So on our positive one, this time, instead of paying 10 here's the here's the 11 a.m. spread, Yeah. right? So you can see the difference here with, you know, you're paying an extra $3 for that extra hour. It's that simple, right? It's not bad. No, it's not bad. Definitely not if you expect some movement. And it's going to be a similar $3 on the negative side, just with the intrinsic value priced in there. At 20 bucks. At right? 20 exactly. Yeah. So you're looking at 33 32 to 33 right now. 33 call it. So for 5 the bucks For the 12s. And then let's jump across, and again, just let's finish it off, because and let's go and... Yeah, so you could either do 50 cents of movement doing the dailies, and I'm just going to look here. So here's the bullish one, <clears throat> 3 to 3.50, and the market's at 13 by 18. Yeah. I'm guessing that's going to be almost identical, 3 to 3.40, 13 by 18. So here's a great example, right? If you're going to go bullish, you should definitely be taking this one. You're paying the same exact price, 13 by 18, Yeah. versus here, 13 by 18. There's no premium priced in for having profits past 340. Now, the realistic nature that right, you get but that's a pretty 40 cool. cent move in natural gas, right. 
But you know what? Why not? You're not paying for it. Why not open yourself up to that volatility to profit from it? Right. Um, so let's just see if we jump back in here now for the big ones. So what would it cost us to have all that profit potential and to have till 2.30? Not bad in terms of paying 18, 19 for the positive one. Now that's gonna be the cheaper one though. Yep. That's out of the money. And then let's get the short one. 26, so you're looking at $45 for a daily till 2.30, but also in that you have profit potential almost <laughs> for any realistic move that it could have today. 50 cents of movement, which I don't know what would happen. I don't think we'd want to see the kind of storm that would have to roll in for a 50 cent spike um, yeah, in that, natural gas. That would be pretty intense. So let's yeah. bring up the contract for a second. So right now, and this will be delayed, this contract okay. here. I'm just curious as to what we have. Well, okay, so yes, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be bullish on this too, even, you know, just because of that high up there of 308. It hasn't been tested. That's from last Friday, that's what that looks like. We pull the UNG up. Uh, UNG is the same way. It's, it's, so let me go back to this for a second. So on, you need, we need 2.8 pennies. For the first one, for the 11 o'clock one, right? Yeah, about. Yeah, and then 3.2, uh, let's say 3.3 .3 pennies. Uh, four, 45 is four and a half. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to leave it alone. Okay. Because I think what, you know, my, my take is it would be a bullish occurrence here. But we'll, we'll find out as soon as this baby comes out. Okay. Uh, right now it looks like they're just selling it off slightly, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was approaching kind of... At three dollar price point, it was at two ninety nine six six or something just a few seconds ago when we were looking at it, and you know even as early as nine fifteen, it was trading above three hundred two. So right now we're just below two ninety nine. So what else you have going on here? I sold uh, four when I was doing the update. Well, right after the update. It's, it's, it's a busy it's, three minutes, ten oh three to ten oh six in the morning. Yeah, but it, you know it, it, in. I wanted to sell it. I missed like two points. Okay. I was trying to. I was trying to hit it when I was doing the update. Okay. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's 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 still uh, it's it's not as good as I normally get reward versus risk because I, I sold it when it was sixty one fifty I believe. Yeah, sixty one. It looks like is the yeah. average price. Right. So you'd be risking forty to make sixty. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. But I still felt, it, it's going to be intriguing here, because I'm trying to, you know, like, even in my daily newsletter, you probably saw it this morning, it's like, the market looks like, folks, it, it doesn't want to go higher, not lower. And then I saw the dollar stack on it, says, is, is it the dollar that's going to basically do something? Sure. And it's, it's you know, yeah. thus, thus far, it, it doesn't seem to catch a bid either way. I'm just jumping in to kind of pull up the Euro-US dollar. Yeah. Jump into... This Whether was, it's binaries this, or spreads. This yeah. was action. 8.30 yeah. was action, man. That's, and you know, Whoops. I, I got to jump back on those because I, I trading well, that. Especially when you have the ECB announcing, announcing yeah. you know, it was right. There's, there's the 8.30 bar, the first one. And so he came out and read a statement and then he started taking questions. Yes. And then I guess 9 o'clock you got to kind of pull back, but then a little bit of action. But yeah, right. that was right on ECB with Draghi coming out. Yeah. He um, read his statement and then took questions. And that's some action for sure. And look at it. Euro still... strengthening. Yeah, getting a little pop again. And you know, folks, inside the Nadex platform, which is really cool too, uh, even when you're test driving it, the quotes are real, which is great. Definitely. I mean, you know, we well, we use it a lot. It's They're live compared because I don't have live quotes sure. on the uh, oil or gas. Definitely. Uh, you know, no yep. doubt about it. 877-927-6648. Uh, Boston. September 30th, folks, come visit us. Um, you know, uh, today the weather outside uh, is just beautiful right here in Florida, that's for sure. I'm trying to figure out, is the storm that far away, is it sucking some of the humidity out, or we just happen to have a nice day, do you know what I mean? Sure. Uh, but Boston, September 30th, um, Burlington Marriott, which is, uh, Boston Marriott, which is in Burlington, Mass. Yeah. That's a marketing name for you. Isn't it? <laughs> it really is. <laughs> They're in Burlington. They call themselves the Boston Marriott. Right. In Burlington. Yeah. Not bad. Why not? So that's smart. Man. Yeah, exactly. Clearwater Hotels, they should call themselves the Tampa Hotel in Clearwater. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so that's three weeks from Saturday, man, which is amazing. But three weeks from Saturday, we'll be up there, September 30th. We'll go um, click in here. Everyone that attends is going to get a signed copy of your book with, of course, you're speaking for 90 minutes from 9 till 10.30. Daryl Martin's going to be speaking for 90 minutes from 10.45 till 12.15. You guys will both be up there for 45 minutes, kind of wrapping things up with a presentation, taking questions and answers. And um, Continental Breakfast kicks things off at 7.45 in the morning. Should be good, man. And uh, we're going to be uh, talking, folks, quality, volume, cause and effect, the ABC structures, swing points, and testing. And this market, that's all this market just keeps doing is testing highs and testing lows. It's pretty wild watching this thing shake out. Dow Industrials right now down 37. Nasdaq's off 7. S&Ps are off 4. Gold up 12 bucks. Oh, look, it's catching a big bid again. 12, uh, 1351. Man, like it. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. If you're looking to open your portfolio to a world of opportunity, consider the new Market Safe Emerging Currency CD from Everbank. This three year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to five equally weighted currencies from Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and Turkey at a time when experts see great potential for global growth. Even better, it features a 7.0 leverage factor, which means you could earn a potential market upside payment of seven times the CD's performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. The September 28th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA, FSB, member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is down 40. NASDAQ is off 8. S&Ps are off 4.5. Let's see. Uh, gas inventories rose 65 BCF. Let's see what that's doing to the market. That's our Euros dollar. Let's jump back. We're going to have to jump back in to get that chart up. Commodities, natural gas, any one of these spreads. 
Yeah, so a, a brief small pop. Yeah, yep. a brief spike above 301 and kind of just settling a little bit. But yeah, looking to trade a little higher. And I think it was um, posted in the den 65 versus maybe 64 being the forecast. Yeah, so, so pretty close. Not too much of a reaction yet. But as we've seen, we'll see what the day holds. Yeah, exactly. So let's let's see if we just bring that up. Excuse me. Gas, gas, gas. Okay, so, yeah, so even the median estimate was even 65, not even 64. So right pegging yeah. on it, yeah. Yeah. Looks like stockpiles rose 2.06%. You had gas supplies rising 2.1%. That was coming out at, uh, oh, no, okay, so that's the Bloomberg user survey underneath there. Everything okay. up here is the news coming out at 1030. And now next is going to be uh, crude oil. 11 crude oil, eleven o'clock. Yeah. Uh, the numbers. Uh, let's see. So if we go over to crude CLV seven, we take a look at crude. Let's see October contract. You get thirty three hundred thirty-five thousand. Yeah, crude looks like it's going to try to get up into this fifty dollars again. You're, you know, sure. It pushed higher. You know, yesterday. Small hasn't done much. The uh, when you were driving on the way home yesterday, were there a lot of gas stations that were out of gas? Did you know? I'm not sure. I okay. actually got gas yesterday somewhere around our office. Yeah. Um, of course, I do a lot of driving, so right. it'll be good to try and fill up in the next couple of days again. But because of that, I didn't check. I you know the first one I went to, 7-Eleven, kind of right over here in okay. between the two, and they had gas, and so I filled yeah. up. Yeah. I suspect uh, on our coast because people have been getting ready since. Tuesday, Tuesday much, yeah, yeah, which is good. Yeah. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll get a lot more gas in. Um, yeah. Because it seems between the gas and the water. Now, hey, the water, right? Yeah, when my, my Amazon water is not going to show up in time. Oh, it's not? No, I know. I ordered oh. water on Amazon. Okay. When did I order it? Yesterday? When was I texting? I think it's the day before you told Tuesday told's. night? And you said it was going to come Friday. Yeah, correct. I think it was Tuesday night. Did they yeah. notify yesterday or something when it was going to come? Did, uh, now it's expected to be a Tuesday or Wednesday. Thankfully, I wasn't planning on it. Okay. For, you know, I knew right. that I had other water, but yeah. it turns out and it was uh, 1.5 liter bottles of like Fiji water, and it was a little expensive, yeah. but it was like $24 for a pack of 12 1.5 liters. Okay. That's a lot of water if you okay. need water, right? Sure, you right, know, in right. terms of right. 25 bucks is in the end of the world right. to have 12 1.5 liters. You're talking about 16 liters of water. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be here Tuesday and Wednesday, so that's getting returned. Okay. Yeah. That's so heavy too. I, I know just, it's too bad it got shipped here just yeah. for water, and then it's gonna get shipped back right. and all that shipping. Um, right. It is. Right. It is. Now check this out. This is this is gonna be a trip, folks, because Amazon announced. I don't know if they're just this morning. Yeah, I saw that's big about that for sure. They're yeah. taking bids from different cities across the country about building a second headquarters. That yeah, over the course of the next fifteen to seventeen years, could be five billion with a B dollars putting in there. And Isn't that amazing? Their their headquarters could house as many as fifty thousand workers. Fifty thousand workers. And they're one of the biggest um, jobs providers in Seattle. I and that's what they talk about. They moved into a new five hundred foot tall office tower in Seattle, completely with one hundred foot tall orbs, whatever that's got going yeah. in. Amazon calls them biospheres which hosts more than 300 plants species so it's quite a little ecosystem they built for themselves and they're going to do um they're going to build another one yeah and they're talking about man some of these cities and what they do it's unfortunate when in 2001 Boeing decided to move its headquarters out of Seattle it was promised a series of tax breaks and incentives worth 60 million dollars for just 500 employees imagine that i mean to put that in context right amazon's potentially going to have 50,000 employees <laughs> so that would be like 100 times that so that would be the equivalent of them getting a six billion dollar tax break wow. um, to what, build a five billion dollar building. What was also impressive down here? Look at this number. So Amazon said staff at the new uh, office could earn average annual salary of over hundred grand. Yeah, average. That is big. That's pretty intense for, sure. for fifty thousand people. That is. That's. I, I I question that statistic. With, I know. With the two of them together, you know, in terms of. 50,000 50, people yeah. and the average one being 100,000. Right. Um, I question that. And I, I, yeah. I think you get a little PR spin working there. Yeah, it would seem it, right? As in, you know, they're going to build it. The plans for the next 15 or 17 years, you know? So guess yeah. what? For 16 years, they get to say, well, just wait till the end of the plan and the numbers will match up. 
Yeah, so, right. Know, that was just, you know, that's yeah. for the entirety of, in 20 years, I guess they might be making 100 grand when it's done, right? Yeah, that, no, I mean, that's, I, that's the when power I, when of a PR when spin. I, I, when I saw that number, I said, well, that's pretty, that's an intense number. It is, um, it is. But I, I bet that's where the cities will be asking more questions in terms of how they get at that number if they want tax breaks for all that good stuff. Seriously. Yeah. Let's go over and take a look at this uh, S&P. So uh, we're down two and a half bucks, which is nothing. Uh, you get, you're bouncing around down here at the uh, 24, let's see, so we hit 24.50, uh, well, it looks like 24.60 twice here this morning. Um, hit it, uh, what time is that, 10.10, 10, and we just hit it again. So we'll see whether it uh, can get out, get out of there. That, that, yeah, that looks like, uh, not that it's 57, it must have been last night. We, yeah, I guess that was on the, the low is saying 57, but that had to be late last night or something, or just when the futures opened, reopened again last yeah. night. Um, gold, let's go over to that gold contract. Uh, this, this, it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, I mean, let's look at 233,000 contracts. Yeah. It's only 10.30 in the morning. That's a big number, man. You know, we hit 368. Uh, which was the 13.49 high from Tuesday. And we're gonna do, well, it looks like we're gonna do more than 368. Yeah. You know, because what you, what you do have in, we'll go to the GDX. We take a look at the GDX, yep. GDX is launching the uh, 2488 or 2535 right now. Yeah. So, good old King Dollar, uh, bottom line, can't handle it. You might have to change the name of King Dollar. I know. No, I know. <laughs> Believe me, I know. Yeah. It's it's King Euro compared yeah, to the right. dollar. Yeah, seriously. You know, so the Euro uh, caught a bit again. And, and what's going on is that that, that so the high of two, no, oh, no, a couple of week, week, two weeks ago, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. One, 12070. 12070, yeah. We hit 12059 today. Uh, now, you don't get volumes in these, but the way the force is, I suspect that euro looks like it wants 123, which is just going to be uh, pretty, pretty amazing. Man. Yeah. 877-927-6648. Silver's also catching the bid. How about Apple? It's, uh, cause they got, of course, their big week coming up next week. They do. Tuesday, it's Thursday, five days away. That'll get some... some That's hanging at these highs, man. Yeah. You know, any and Apple has to stay above 156. I mean, that's where it broke out. It'd from. be pretty cool if your watch you didn't need to carry your phone, right? If you could just carry your watch and it could do things. And just talk. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean that's what they. We'll see. Stay right there, folks. Uh, Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's down 20. Nasdaq's up one. S and P's are down three. We're gonna right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be coming to Boston September 30th for a free workshop, The Art of Timing the Trade. Join Tom O'Brien Saturday morning, September 30th at the Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts as he breaks down his trading methodology and provides you with the tools to become a more successful and profitable trader. Everyone that attends in person will receive a free signed copy of Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute will also be presenting for 90 minutes at this free event. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Join me in Boston on September 30th as I return to my hometown for a workshop about the art of timing the trade. I look forward to seeing all the tigers and tigresses for this special free event. All action starts early at 7.30 a.m. with a continental breakfast and wraps up at about 1 p.m. 
topics that Tom will be covering during his presentation include quality volume, cause and effect, ABC structures, swing points, and much, much more. For all the information on this free Boston event taking place Saturday, September 30th, visit the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 15. Nasdaq's up five. S and P's are off uh, two and a half. Let's go back to Branson. So Branson made it in his uh, <laughs> uh, billionaire Richard Branson and his crew survived Hurricane Irma after hunkering down in a concrete wine cellar in his home on a private island in the Caribbean. Got to protect that wine, man. No. Yeah. <laughs> wow. No, I'm sure that was a good spot if you're going to be on an island where they could actually go somewhere Seriously. and feel relatively safe. I, um, I wonder how they make sure that the water doesn't get in it, like if there's a surge yeah, like no, that. Yeah, no, you know, I, um, I imagine that that property was renovated and renovated well when he had it done, yeah. you know, in, right. in terms yeah. of... Yeah. Um, so that's part of it as well, I'm sure. Branson, who purchased the, the British Islands property in 74, declined... Oh, detailed his plans, plans to ride out the storm in a blog... Yeah, uh, they were making their way across the internet. I saw pictures of it yesterday. Okay. Branson's son, Sam, posted pictures of the storm's aftermath on an Instagram account and said many of the buildings on the island were destroyed. Um, so it was serious, for sure. You know, yeah. But if you're if you're living in a billionaire's pad that's got a sweet wine cellar in the basement, that's a different deal. Yeah, oh, there's, 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 <laughs> yeah, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. Let's go take a look at the strength versus the weakness uh, inside the market out here. So uh, looking at the Dow out here. You have the, uh, the wow, look at that good old Goldman hey, showing up again. Almost off $4. Yep. So uh, Goldman's putting 26 negative points into it. Travel is putting 19. J.P. Morgan uh, almost 9. American Express 6. Uh, putting uh, some positive points into it. Visa's putting 12. Boeing 9. Uh, McDonald's uh, 7. Because I know, I, I think I saw MasterCard come across that that was doing good too. Yeah, MasterCard's up $4.38. And credit is, everyone's using credit cards. I guess so. Right? Let's see what they say. MasterCard climbed to a record high after payment. The network boasted its earnings uh, growth target and said now aim for the high end of a previous full year forecast. Not bad. Let's see. So slide it down. The company also expects 2017 adjusted revenue to increase at the high end of its previous target of low double-digit growth. Low double-digit growth in revenue on a company that, it's making small margins, right, yeah. on those, right. And you, you know, you're already talking about revenue numbers that are Monsters. through the moon, exactly, right. and you're growing at low double digits. I mean, that's, that's huge. pretty amazing. Yeah. It, re it really is huge. It's like, yeah. wow. So uh, inside the NDX 100, let's see what the strength versus the weakness is. Uh, C-Trip is up 2.6%. eBay, look at eBay 2.4. Baidu.com 2.2. Taken away from it. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, Regeneron down 5%. Fast and all off 2.2. Let's go to Ray Generon again for a second. Let me look at this thing. So that's a quick move down, man. Well, you know what? That doesn't look that big for $400 stock, I guess, right? Yeah. 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 So let's see what they have to say. Um, oh, they, okay. So they, they went south because uh, another company updated their 
hit, they hit their main target or something, right? Let's yeah, I don't see. think that's update. That's that's yeah. whatever their their drug is. Regeneron fell six percent. Uh, yeah, as after after Abby's, whatever that drug is, met its primary endpoint. Yeah. yeah, so they have a competitor drug that did well for itself right. in, in right. some form of trials. And the IBB, IBB is not taking a hit. So that's only one stock inside the IBB, but that uh, baby is uh, not taking the hit. Uh, let's go back over to the uh, gas market. It looks like gas is just kind of hanging there, right? Yeah. yeah, almost to like the thousandth of a penny of where it was even, 2.988, pretty close to that three, three mark where, where it was trading at right before that news came out. No action there. We'll see if action sets up in crude oil. Right. So the, uh, let's go to the USO. That's 11 o'clock. That's coming across. Yeah, that's just, man. The $10 on the mark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and that crude, that crude looks to me like it wants higher price. Now, the crude won't come out to 11, so uh, our man, uh, well, actually, the swim lessons beyond 11. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, of course, coming up uh, after that. And we'll see where good old uh, Irma is uh, in another, I, I guess, we'll really know where we stand almost in another 24 hours, right? It's always going to be a changing game. Right. You know? In 24 right. hours, we're still going to be saying, we'll see where it is, right? Yeah, you know? right, but it, right. With, with every passing 12, 24 hours, yeah. you get more certainty. It's edging a little bit. But yeah. well, we're not out of the woods, that's for sure. Oof. Yeah, because you and I know in particular from Katrina. Yeah, right. That, Things that, can change, for that, sure. Katrina folks changed so quick, it was just crazy. I mean, Katrina was going to hit Mexico, and then all of a sudden it took a right turn that was, like, um, pretty incredible. I heard incredible. you saying that on your show yesterday. And I had to Google the path of Katrina, and I spent time looking at it Did you it Google up. it? Of course I did. And what, I checked what, what your facts. Was it? it wasn't heading for Mexico. Where was it heading? It was heading for, actually, further east of New Orleans. It came over Florida as okay. a weak storm, and the trajectory was further east. And in the span of six hours or eight hours, the cone that yeah. we're all familiar with now right. shifted westward right over New Orleans. It so did. instead of being just on the outer band of the cone, yeah. it literally shifted over the course of eight to 12 hours. And that's why we got caught off of our there. That's why right. a lot of people did. Because number one, it was a weak storm yeah. that picked up once it hit the Gulf Amazing Strength. And number two, it wasn't even supposed to be on that path. So instead of being a, a weak storm that was kind of just supposed to be east of um, New Orleans, okay. still hitting different areas, right? Yeah. That panhandle getting hit, but it was supposed to be weak too. And it turned into an enormous storm heading straight for New Orleans. And even thankfully, if you think about it, um, it even missed the worst of the worst in New Orleans, if you remember. Remember it hit, but but it was a little bit yeah. east or west. I forget that, where, that's where right. it was just that's enough right. where they said it actually could have been worse, as bad as... And um, you, you should have seen this, folks. When we came out of, they had us inside a... There's a, there was a, they put us a in a floor. convention. Yeah. You know, they put us in the main ballroom. Right. Which was... Had cement on the outside of it. It was their most secure area they right. could think about. So you had to sign a waiver if you wanted to not be in there. Right. If you wanted to stay in your room, right. they had to make sure you sign a waiver. And some people had medical conditions where they couldn't go downstairs, they weren't able to get to the room, or they were worried about being down in the room, so they weren't in there, but we went in there for yeah. sure. Yeah, right. And um, it was a good decision, too, because... Yeah, because when we came out and you looked outside, you couldn't believe... Yeah. That the winds, right? Or the destruction? The You're destruction. About during it? Or okay. No, afterwards. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Right, we came right. outside, you're looking across the street, yeah. and like tall buildings had no windows left. It was like. Right. There was it, one it, it, it was high rise high. building. Right. I think it was the Hyatt that had yeah. all of their windows on one area ripped right. out. And it was just, you know, how some hotels are designed. If you can catch a wind gust yeah. and trap that wind, then you have problems because you have 180 mile per hour wind running into a wall, and that's where, as opposed to just going by the buildings. Right. Oof. Crazy. Crazy. Um, yeah, to answer your question in the den. No, no water from Amazon. No water from Amazon. They, they, they were late on their deliveries yeah. when it counts. I was disappointed. I had, I had faith in Amazon's delivery yeah. services. They right. said guaranteed by Friday. I said, man, if I can have a case of water dropped off on my doorstep on Friday while everyone else is and, waiting for lines on Tuesday. And did they update it on yesterday? Is that well, they, it? as it gets shipped, uh, I, I see, looked okay. this morning. I okay. had been checking for the exact, and now it's you know expected to arrive Tuesday one case was, and I think the other one was Wednesday. So mm -hmm. I'll cancel that. Market-wise, let's take a look. Uh, so uh, we just went from uh, red to green. Um, there you go. Slightly, but, but we did. We Bottom sure line, did. Uh, we just went from a Man. 
uh, to 2460 to 2466 inside of the S&P. That was you, quick. You stay there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Tommy and I are going to be coming right back, folks. Dow right now is up 13. NASDAQ is up 15. NASDAQ definitely caught a bid. Uh, S&P is uh, up one. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Let's go over to that uh, VIX and see uh, what do we have happening uh, insurance-wise out here. So 11.77. Kind of just laying there, huh? Yeah, all's well, man. <laughs> it is, right? Yesterday yeah. was a good day in the markets. Yeah. Um, and this morning's been relatively calm, and, and, right. and it's getting some upside action. So VIX kind of pulling back. You know, we had a spike. Let's see, would, would that be Tuesday? Yeah, that's Tuesday, right? Tuesday, you get to 14, you yeah. close out at 12.23. Yesterday, uh, 11.35 to 12.59. Yep. There's no doubt you're just laying there. Yeah. It's, it, it's kind of, you know, for, for us down here, it's almost like, this is kind of like the way I feel, is that we're kind of laying here like there's a storm. I, I got everything ready, but it's like, okay, so, you know, how much you got to hustle, right? right? Do you know what I mean? For it, sure. it, it, it's, it's, you're not on edge, but you're kind of like a little oh, yeah. on edge. A little anxious, right? Yeah, totally. You, know. you should be. Um, you know, market-wise, uh, the good old King Dollar just can't catch a bid. Let me just go look at this again. I'm just curious. Well, Euro's getting plenty of, yeah. plenty of cash yeah, in that see, market. Oh, man. look at this. It actually broke it. It broke the low. 
Yeah, 91, 375 we got. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at the volume. Oh, this King Gala, folks. We've done 45,000 contracts. <laughs> yep. That is big contract volume. 51,000 was the low. Yeah. Um, this You're speechless. Is, <laughs> yeah. You know what? It, it's like I... I feel like it wants to go to 88, but it, it it is blowing my mind that it keeps getting sold like this. Yeah, no, it's, you know, it's, it's quite like, a trend that has not stopped. Right, definitely. and it's like what's be you know what's what's behind it? What sure. what, is, what is what is the deal? Sure, you know because hey, yeah. stay right there. We get swim lessons coming up next. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, and then uh, we got uh, Steve Rhodes. We'll talk to Steve. Uh, Steve may be packing up. I uh, get out of there. Stay safe. Totally. Yeah, totally. Uh, Dave White, uh, myself, and it's Thursday in here. You nice pal. It. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be